near to where he which is in Texas. So if you live in Texas, it's like a small Jewish kind of place. But it's um, not what the, you what say does to exact say mean? Exotic means like it's not like something regular. Like if you have a pet cat at home, that's not exotic. But the tigers is and it a lion? Right, it'll be lions. It's like kind of like a zoo, but they only have cats in it. But you're not talking about domestic cats, like the ones that sit at your house scratching on scratching posts. No. Real big cats like tigers, um, lions, leopards, panthers, and bobcats. So this place is, was an amazing kind of like a sanctuary, but they have lots of tigers and you know, see, there's a tiger over there. The century may have lots of big cats, but most importantly, their cats come from inhuman breeding facilities, entertainment facilities like um, plant, um, um, circuses and those places, and then closed exotic animal sanctuaries like zoos that have been closed because they couldn't afford for the stuff for the animals, so they had to close the zoo, so they gave them to the, get this. And the owners that no longer take care of their pets, they're like, I can't take care of this tiger anymore. I'll give it to you. Will you take it? So they also said, okay, we'll take it. And then that's how they got all of their big feline cats. And what's really cool is that they have lots of cats. If you love animals, you're going to love it. They have lions, tigers, leopards, cougars, cheetahs, several bobcats, lynx, and ocelot. And you will, they also have two lemurs, but you didn't get a single lemur. It seems like they also had a kawaii, but we didn't get to see the kawaii. You see, there's like a white Bengal tiger. And also, did you know that their biggest cat is Jazz? It's a male African lion and weighs close to 650 pounds. That's big, right? And here's a white Bengal tiger. It was just sitting there. And then we also got to see a person come and pet the tiger. Like it was a pet cat or something. Like, you're petting a Bengal tiger that's white. And they had the rescue dates and all that stuff. And I think, oh, look, there's a black panther. No, it's a black leopard. Yeah, it's a black leopard. And since the cats are carnivores, they only eat raw meat diet of processed red meat that we get, that they get from some other meat facilities. Like, and there's some other cats that like, I just like chicken. Chicken is the best. And they also give them chicken for like snacks. And they eat a lot. See, look, it's a, it's a lion. But they're always sleeping. Where every museum that we go, they're sleeping except the zoo that we went. But it's, it's called this Cameron Park Zoo. That's the only zoo that we saw the lion that was awake. And this is not a zoo, but they're a sanctuary. So that's why I call it a sanctuary, not a zoo. But you can, a zoo is like, they have like all types of animals, like birds, reptiles, fishes, fishes or aquarium. But like, they have lots of animals. That's, that's a zoo. But this is a sanctuary because it only has one type of animal, the big cats. So you can see there's two lions sitting up there. And you, they provide loving, nutritious homes and they give them lots of care. And look, there's some leopards. This is a really cool place if you love animals. But there's only like cats and all that stuff. So just so you know that. Because you if you love cats, yeah, this is the right place for you. We came with a friend to come here. So it was also very fun. But this place was like the best place to see like cats that are awake. Not like sleeping all the time. Like if they go to any zoo, they'll be sleeping. But lions are so late. They sleep 20 hours a day. great place to come with your kids and see these cool feline cats so this place is just like only like 45 minutes from dallas and that's great because it's right close to us and the admission fees is 12 dollars per adult and it's eight dollars for a child it's a great place you can spend about one and a half hour here but still you have they have restrooms and they have all that stuff so you can just come here and visit and see, they have all of the signs, and they have like the rescue date, the born date, and they have all of that stuff. So you can learn a lot about these animals 
at this small sanctuary place. It may be very small, but it contains lots of beautiful animals, and they have loving places, and they take care of their animals very well. They have kind stuff, very kind stuff. They literally showed us the tigers and all that stuff, so they were very kind. So this place is like a half the visit place if you're coming to Texas. And look at this cat, it looks so cool. All cats look cool. Guys, this lion is raw. That's a tiger, not a lion. There's a hey, That's a lion. I said it's a tiger, not a lion. Oh. It's a tiger raw. Yes, it's a tiger. So they're like, they're really cool. And then we also got to and see it, a And it has sharp claws and it has tongue. Okay, I guess your tongue. Bye. The, the only got to see a lion eat a cupcake. I don't know what, what I don't know what it was made of, but they give it us like a box or some with like some sweet inside it. And this was an awesome place and they also had a very extra rare white lion. When I saw it, I'm like, is it is they did they paint it or did we actually like rescue it like that? But it seems like they actually rescued it and these white lions are very, very, very rare. There's only a few of them left in the wild. Only about 50 of them. And look, there's that's a tiger that's eating a cupcake. It's looking at us again. That doesn't look like a cupcake to me, but it looks like a cake or something. So, so you can watch the tiger eat its weird cupcake like patty like thing. I don't know what that is, but it's licking it. It looks like a brown blob. And if I if I hope you like this video. But there'll also be some other we also went to some um, other zoos in Texas, so you wanna check that out, bye. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to thumbs up. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.